Hi folks, good morning, welcome along. It's Tuesday the 8th of September 2020, it's our 11am uh, circuit and we're back downstairs this week. So back into our normal format as we start to look, you see everybody lined up ready to go for it. So we have Ben here who's taken the, oh, Ben who's taken the lead role at the front today, I don't think he wanted to. Uh, uh, we've got Lou and uh, we've got Nathan here as well and here is your circuit. So let's start off with a warm up, so a march for me. And I want you to do peeling your foot off the foot, lifting the ball of the foot off after you've lifted the heel, then lifting the toes, pointing down at the floor, placing the toes, and then rolling and then through to your heels. So we've got a nice soft placement of that foot. Um, as you come on board, let us know. Say hello. Let us know you're here. We're a, a, I do apologise. Uh, that was my fault. Well, it wasn't really, but I'll say it was. No, it was my fault. Uh, here we go. Warm up wise, we're looking at our warm is concerned. So you should feel as though things are working, but it shouldn't feel too hard. And then we go to 13 and 14, 12, 13, 14, as far as our main workout is concerned. Okay, from there, let's take the feet a little bit wider and just shift that weight from side to side. So sway from side to side and feel your body weight changing down. Uh, from one leg to the other. Now as you come across, don't take your knee out any further than the side of your shoe. So we're in a situation. Uh, we've got a good and then bring it back into a march and let's put some arms in as well with some bicep curls. So up towards your chest, back down towards your hip. Out, but don't lock those uh, elbows out at the bottom. So we're working through the range of motion. Lovely job. All right, from there, let's take a little pause again. Take the feet shoulders width. Trunk twist to the side. Come back into the center with a little pause in the center. That's the other way. Now, I want you to think about your posture the whole time as well. Think about lengthening through your body. If you can imagine a balloon between your ribs and your hips, give it a couple of puffs of air and lift your ribs. There we go. Oh, so we've got... Um, I just noticed we got the side of me high. <laughs> You've got a, 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 an extra couple of inches in height and try and keep that throughout. Stop laughing. Well, obviously it's only because we're doing the circuit here. This is what, this is what I noticed, everybody, if you look here. The, the, the station, station six or station five, suddenly at an angle, I thought, oh, that's going to be interesting tonight. But that's only while we're doing this. Um, Take it into my... You notice them, don't you? Very observed, yes. You notice these things, then you can't unnotice them. Happened a few times, isn't it, in life? Right, okay, from there, let's take it to. So we start to dig out. I've got a theme for you today, and your theme is uh, activities of daily living or everyday activities that you do. And we're trying to formulate that around. So it's a bit of like our functional classes that we do. Um, where everything that we do is aimed at something you do every day. Um, introduce some of those as well into there. All right, from there, come back into a march for me and take it into a knee lift. So bringing one hand across, bringing that knee up, you're aiming to bring it level with your hip if you can, parallel to the floor, but look at the foot placement as well. So the toes of the line, the first thing to come down as a slight rotation to the side you can see that with everybody here slight rotation working through your trunk cross all right from there bring it back down and shift your weight again from side to side but this time bring your heel up towards you. so we're kicking out so we're lengthening down through the front of the thigh and getting ready all right from there Bring it into a march for me. Let's bring a hand up and around. Up and around. That's as well. Get later on and working in through those shoulders. It's a bit like your shoulder circles, but rather than taking the hands out to the side, we're doing a full. Excellent. And then from there, bring it the other way around. So more of a front crawl this time. So we just work the shoulders back around the other way as well, balancing it out. Great job. Okay, from there, come back in with that march. Then with your march, we're going to step forward into a lunge and push back up. Now, as you step forward, 
your heel comes down onto the floor first. So we're focusing onto Nathan on this one, look. Um, so heel places first, rolls down through to the ball of the foot. Powers back up through that front uh, heel to push yourself back up. You're not coming too low, so have a look. We're not coming too low as far as that knee is concerned. This is just our warm up, remember? So we just mobilize. Brilliant job. Okay, from there, come back in, take it to a wider stance. We're going to just mobilize through our neck. To the side, to the center, to the other side. Now, challenge your balance. So if you need to hold on to something, feel free. And sometimes it might just be that you need to hold on to a, a fixed item close to you. Body knowing where it is in relation to its surroundings helps it balance. All right, from there, come back into a march. And okay, we're going to do one more as far as our neck is. I tend to do this. I've not done this with you before. So uh, look straight ahead, Ben. Keep your eyes open. Have a look at me firstly. Okay. So what we're going to do is this. Give yourself. Okay. So look that way. Push your chin back. That's it. Exactly. That's it. Lovely. So you're keeping the eye line level and giving yourself a bit of a lockdown chin. And what we're doing there is we're just lengthening through the back of the neck. So if you were to feel the back of your uh, neck onto the top of your back, there's a little lump there. Yeah, can you feel a little bit of a lump? Yeah, and as you push back, that should straighten out. Got it? So can you feel there, look, you can feel like a little lump. Yeah. And that should straighten out, it should flatten out, okay? Stacking the head back to where it should be on top of the axis at the top of your spine. It is a weird one. But in everyday life, what we do is ourselves come forward a bit and we bring our head forward. And it's the heaviest part of the body. So not suggesting you walk around all day going like, comfortable. But every now and again, it's great to just really see how that feels. And what's happening is you're lengthening the muscles through the back of the neck as well. So that will help with that standing tall. Okay, enough of that one. From there, come back in and have a for you today. Just wait till we get onto the hand movements. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> All right, from there, hold on if you need to and take a swing forward and back. Through your hips. So I'm sorry I'm picking on you, Ben. It seems that I'm picking on you, but I'm not. It's just it's the easiest. Can you see how Ben is staying straight and tall? So the movement all happens from the hip. Can you do it so that you're actually moving your upper body as well now, Ben? So you're leaning into it and back. Can you see how the difference is there, look, you see? And you can see what the result is. Thank you, Ben. So it will throw you off balance. So you focus here, really make that hip move, and then change. Oh, hold on. An added sidestep there from Lou for you, look, which is a good example of a recovery step. So if ever you feel unbalanced, put the foot down to. Re that was all planned, that was scripted, that was. It was, wasn't it? We rehearsed that for minutes beforehand. Thanks, Lou. <laughs> Brilliant job. Okay, from there, come back in. Let's have a little march and let's bring those knees a little bit higher. Bring the hand right over. That circular motion up and down across to the opposite knee. But in all seriousness, really, if you do feel unbalanced at any and with some of the activities we'll do today, you might find a bit of a challenge because you're going to come onto one leg for a short period of time. That putting the foot down is a recovery step. It's exactly what we would do if we... And then from there, bring it, pick the heels towards your bum, take the hands forward and pull them back. So opening through your chest, aids together, which again is all part of good posture. Excellent posture, what we do is we lift the shoulders up, back and squeeze the shoulder blades down together. So this opens, it allows the capacity of the chest to increase the capacity of your rib cage, which means you can take deeper breaths as well. From there, bring it back in. Let's take it to a wider stance and let's have a little sit down into it, a little squat into it. <coughs> and then from there, just bring it into a march. Have a look at your um, circuit and get ourselves ready to go. So, as I can say, as the guys get themselves ready for our uh, it's a theme to it today. It's um, activity daily living. So, um, ADLs, you'll sometimes hear this called, um, or also just... Activities. Yeah, so getting in the car, climbing the stairs, cleaning the windows, 
mopping, sitting and standing, and mowing the lawn. So we're going to start with our getting. Three options for you again. So we've got an easy, a medium, and a high. It's that, it's that sideward step. Now have a look. You'll see that little toe down first and coming through to the heel as she steps across to the other side. So it's a side step basically with a bit of a knee bend in there. Now, can you see that Nathan is doing a little bit of rotation into that hip there? So there's a little bit of lift of a rotation out. So it's the actual lifting of the foot into the car and a bit of a deeper squat for our medium version. When we go harder version there's your full blown hip rotation into the car not sure what sort of car Ben's got but it looks as though it's very awkward to get into that doesn't it oh yeah you know come into the <laughs> <laughs> now I'm not going to get, I'm not going to be able to get that image down Lou, um, and I've not got the timer. So um, we'll get ourselves uh, going and I'll get myself a timer as well. So Lou, if you want to take it away for me. So brilliant there. Can you see that the foot is coming up, placing the toe down onto the floor, pushing the weight down through the heel as we take Then there's that little bit of hip rotation. Can you see the hip rotation as far as Nathan is concerned? Bit of a deeper squat into it, and then we go to McLaren Mobley. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we go to bed. <laughs> we go to bed. Who's... <laughs> Yeah, it's called, it's called a, a mobility. Go faster stripes. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We've got that big step. Now, this is exaggerated, but that is the move that you do when you get into your car. You lift your foot over the sill of the car, push yourself in, and then you would bring your other foot in. So this is the first part of that. Out of the car, when you come from your seated position, you lift the leg to get it out. So there is <laughs> some seriousness. That is your first minute. Brilliant job. We move on to climbing the stairs. Now, for this, you need something to step up onto. So we have um, steps here in the um, gym. But if you're home, then um, that is an option for you. Yeah. You'll notice that the steps heights as well. So we've got a lower step and then we've got two medium steps in there as well. If you've got stairs, there, uh, or if you've got a back step outside. If you haven't got any steps at all, I'll describe an option for you. Now, what I want you to do is when you step up onto this, make it on. It's a heel toe action up and a toe heel down. So heel toe up, toe heel down. There you go. So it's a basic, it's a controlled movement there from our easy position. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll call out your 30 seconds and change your lead leg. All right. In our medium position here, we've got that more rhythm, faster moving as much as it's, it's more continuous. There's a slight pause, <coughs> as concerned. When we come to our harder option here, we've got a knee lift in there as well. Oh, this is looking like... <laughs> I love a good step class. Right, there we go. Are you ready? A minute to go, so off we go. So heel toe up got a, um, a knee lift. Now you'll notice that Nathan is changing leg every time. Because of that knee lift, there's no need for a change of the lead leg. So this is a great one to do if you can, bringing the knee up. Now, if you stare at home, at home at all, I'll get Ben to show us. What we're going to do is step, step with a squat as you come in. So step in, step in, up and up. So step into the squat for me, Ben. So squat, squat. That's it. Lovely. So can you see how there's a little bit of a squat as you step into it? So you can simulate the as far as your quads are concerned, stepping up. Um, and you can, by putting that little uh, a squat into it, you work it into those legs as well. Okay. Keep yourself going. I forgot to call out your 30 seconds. 
So we'll do the other leg next round. We'll do it that way. I was... There you go. Lovely job. Well done. There is your minute. Moving on to our next one. Oh, this is going to be good. We're going to clean... We're going to lose those steps out of the way. So we all do our... We all clean our windows, don't we? Or... I'll be the first to admit it. I've got a window cleaner. So... My, my window cleaning usually consists of me moving my car out of the way so the window cleaner can get to the front windows. Uh, there we go, look. Don't you? Wax on, wax off. There we go. We have our medium and we've got some weights involved in there as well. And then we come to Ben who's in our high option and it's a split start. So you'll notice the other two um, underneath their hips, uh, Ben and, not Ben, sorry, uh, Nathan and Lou have got their feet in line with their hips with a little bit of foot movement happening as well. Okay, so um, this is about rotation of the shoulder. So let's have a look from the side. So if we come in for a profile, you'll see that the posture is strong and it's that move upwards. And in all seriousness, if you think about, if you ever watched, um, Karate Kid, that was, I was going to say Kung Fu Kid, but that's not right. Um, it was this, this was the wax on, wax on type movement they did. And, and the reason for that is because it's a fluid circular movement, rotating through the shoulder joint. Lovely job. Around about shoulders height if you can. Now, if you can't quite reach that high, you can bring it down. There you go. Lovely. There's Nathan showing you. And if you haven't got hand weights, remember, you can use of water, tins, um, milk bottles, sand or soil, anything like that to, to give you some weight. An idea uh, of comparison for you, if you have a full water, it's going to weigh around two and a half kilograms. Lovely job, there you go. Whatever you're using there, if it's not a hand weight, that you're holding it tight. We're going to put the shopping away now, so we've got our after we got into it, we climbed the stairs, we cleaned our windows, and now we're going to put our shopping away. It's all about the reach, the step and the reach. Our, our easy option, sorry. <clears throat> so a step forward. Heel comes down to the toes, powering back through there, and actually placing to lift that shopping. We come to our medium option, we've added a weight in. So same movement, but now you've got a double-handed reach because but it's the same movement, heel toe, a slight rotation to the side to put the uh, weight above. And then we come to our harder option, <clears throat> which is um, coming onto the lower shelves of the upper uh, cupboards there. So it's a deeper squat, yeah? It's a deeper squat. This is a whole new way of putting your shopping away. Make sure your tins are lined up there. So, stepping through, reaching. So again, it's all about posture. So if we come and have a look, we're going to come to the side of Nathan again. Because he's moved from the easy to the hard. But can you see how there's the straight action? So although he's lunging um, and putting that deeper lunge into it, there's still a straight position. Through. Okay, and work our way up past to where Lou is. Can you see the straight posture? No, there's that step forward. There's when we come to Ben as well, again, you can see that posture. You'll see it when he does it the other side. There you go. Lovely. So good posture, staying tall, staying strong. Give your weight. If you struggle with that, bring it to a lower level. So rather than above it. Yeah? If your shoulders start to tire as well. And remember, from medium and hard, you can change that quite easily to go up or down a level. That is your minute, folks. Well done. We're going to do some sweeping now. So, we have our... All right. Are you ready? Nathan is in our easy position with his sweeping. That's, that's, that's a sweep, isn't it? Lovely sweep. Found a new vocation there. <laughs> Will your dad be watching? If you're watching, it was good. That was good sweeping. I think he's got a good job at home. You know? yeah. yeah, I think he needs to practice a bit more at home. There we go. Good action. It will help. 
Lovely job. There's Ben, um, who's who actually quite aptly is doing being from rugby. There you go, bit of a bit of a pass almost across there, and then uh, Lou is sweeping upwards on the, the, the wall. Wall, it's going upwards. <laughs> Lovely, but it's. Can you see how it's a bigger action? So you know, we we really not how you sweep but it's the basic actions of sweeping so you're going to step into that brush aren't you we don't have brushes available if you have a brush then you could do this you ready let's go so can you see how the step that's how we relate it to uh, an everyday task of sweeping stepping in and pushing away with the arms medium option then it's the same movement we've just added some weight into it and again it's the same movement but what we've done is we've made it bigger it's a it's more range of motion as far as our harder option is concerned so there's um that's still sweeping action as you step out regardless of which one you go with the heel comes down first you're through to the toes and again you're powering back up keeping the knees soft and as you move away you're not taking your knee any than the front of your shoe. Have a look at the back foot as well. It's onto the toes, but the foot stays in contact with the floor the whole time. Can you see that? So there's always movement within there and there's always contact with the floor. So we've got a firm base to work from. As we take the arms away, we're helping to equal shift of center of gravity. Good job. Sitting and standing, okay, so sitting and standing, how does that relate to everyday life? Well, we all do sitting and standing during the day, don't we? We sit down, we have something to eat. The other ways that we do it as well, when we get out of bed, we get into a standing after position. Um, let's go down to absolute basics. When you go to the toilet, you sit to stand, yep. But as well, there's your sit to stand. So. Here's our easy option. This is Lou, who's got that sit to stand there, low, lifting up off the chair, powering through the heels up to a standing position. When we come to our medium position, it's our Nathan. And Nathan, again, is powering through those uh, heels to power up, but he's got some weight added in there. The weight is staying close into the body. And then we come to our harder option. And here we can see, you can't really see the difference from the front because it's the movement of the weight and the fact that the seat is not being uh, sat down on, basically. So lowering, possibly just touching if you need to, but not actually sitting down on the seat. Now, we'll just stay here for a while to make sure we've got Okay, go for it again, Ben. So let's have a, a complete analysis of this. Should we stay here for 30 minutes? No, we won't. Let's go for a minute, okay? So off we go. So, in all seriousness, feet are planted on the floor. Look at this position here. So I want you to look at where the feet are. Can you see how Louis's feet are just behind the knees? That means you ability to power up. Now, a good thing for you to do for this one as well is to come into the front third of the chair. So when we stand at home, if you're in the front third of the chair, you're gonna and stand right from the very back of the chair. Luke, can you just do me a favor? Can you sit right back in that chair and then do your stand? Yeah, lovely, thank you. So come back. You can see because you're right, of movement as far as, or uh, uh, ability to move those knees. In our medium position, we've got that weight held in close to the body. Again, it's exactly the same movement. It's exactly the same movement when it comes to a harder option. But here, what you're trying to do is not touch the chair every now and then. Yeah, but we're trying to keep the. Um, effort down through those quads the whole time. And here's your last one. We're going to mow the lawn. So are we ready to mow our lawn? We have Ben in our easy option today. Ben with his wind flow lawn mower. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, sound effect. Let's go again. Go on, go for it again, Ben. Oh, lovely. <laughs> when he's driving. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. Um, then we have our medium option. So again, we've got that step forward, but we've got some weight added in there. And then we come... Yep. So it's a big... 
bigger step. This is the way to exercise when you lawn, when you mow your lawns. Yeah. Good job. Okay. So a minute to go, and off we go. So we, everyone, we're stepping forward with the heel. Firstly, we're plowing away towards it. There's a push away with the arm. As you hear that there's not a great deal of lift at the back on the back foot, which is exactly to both to Lou and then on to um, Nathan in a moment, you're coming up onto the toes on the back because it's a bigger stand, it's a bigger move forward, so you need to come back onto those toes at the back. And with each of them, there's a push away of that weight. So we've got the weight in. Difference in weight here. Um, so Lou has a lighter weight than, uh, than Nathan, but that's not what's adding the, the depth that's being taken and the length lunge so you can see if I come over to the side here see how deep that lunge is Nathan and then as Nathan comes forward I'll be able to catch Lou in the background look can you see how uh, Lou's is a little bit less it's a little bit sharp um, so it's about the depth it doesn't really matter that there's a, a heavier weight in this circuit one done have a little bit of march on the spot the guys here are gonna have a walk around so circuit one is done all right it's about everyday activities I want to have a chop and a change of them. If you did the easier option last time, medium option if you can, and if you did the medium, you might take it to the harder. There's some ones in there where there's no weight involved, where you could certainly go up and down through those levels without even having to think about it. Try it, see how you get on. If you did the one level last time, try and go to the next one if you feel comfortable with it, only if you feel comfortable with it. Some of them challenge your balance as well. When you're stepping forward, you're getting a challenge of balance in there. So if you need to think, if you felt your balance was challenged there, take your feet a little bit wider. So instead of starting with your feet in line with your hips, take them to in line with your shoulders. So you've got a, a bigger base of support to work from. Make sure you keep your feet moving. Grab your feet need to do, but keep the feet moving. And then we'll go circuit two. All right, we'll do round two. Again, remember that you're looking around about the uh, 12, 13, 14 mark here. So we're looking around from 12, somewhat hard, um, above there, possibly or twice on some of them. But, you know, you shouldn't be sustaining that hard level, really. You're looking around about 14 mark. All right. So everyone here is having a little bit of a walk around. Just a reminder of what you've got. You've got your getting in and out of the car, climbing windows, putting the shopping away, uh, sweeping, sitting and standing, and on. So, let's bring everyone back in. Let's get ourselves started with our first one, which is the climbing into the car. This is working in. You've got that lift of the, the leg to emulate stepping in. But it's also, you can associate this with getting out of bed. So when you get out of bed in the morning, Similar action to swing your legs over to the side of the bed before you stand. So we have a minute to go. So this action, as I say, here we're associated with getting in and out of the car, but getting in and out of bed, getting in and out of the bath, in and out of the shower, anything like that. You've got this sort of leg to actually bring yourself in, especially if you have a bath more like Ben there look with that step over to get over the side of the bath so uh, step out comes down with the toe first and through to the heel you take it to the medium option you've got that little rotation now this is one of those ones I said that there's no equipment involved in this it's all about range of motion so you can quite easily try a different level and if you don't get on with it come back to where you were but try and challenge a little bit harder, but all the time remembering that RPE scale. 12 is where we're aiming for, okay? Stepping back in. Now, this could also be associated, certainly in its easier option, with when you're out about walking and you need to change the direction. You've got that change, that functional step that you might take. Climbing the stairs is our second one. So, again, remember, if you don't have a step, we've got steps here, but if you the stairs just make sure that um, place your feet sensibly onto the stairs or an outdoor step or just stepping forward and taking that little ready let's go if you're going to do the step forward and to you would be find somewhere where you can have a bit of space that emulates 
kitchen and it's tiled, look across two tiles width, or if they're small tiles, three or four tiles width. So you're stepping into the same place every time. I'm going to call out your 30 seconds. Leg change for me. I'm not going to make Ben do. So you can see that Nate in there and that automatically gives you a knee change for everybody else change your lead leg so changing the leg up with and remember that the whole foot comes onto the step we start with a heel toe action first and when we come down we come down toe heel this protects your achilles tendon and it protects your calf as well so we're putting uh, avoiding putting undue pressure onto them stepping up and stepping down it looks like this is not one of ben's favorite tasks there's a smile that's better He's thinking, oh, I've got to go up the stairs again. There you go. Concentrated. That's exactly the right answer. Clean those windows. Get ready for your wax on, wax off. So, easy, medium, hard again. Rotation of the shoulders. So, are we ready? That easy option with that rotation of the shoulders. We and then we take it to our higher version, and we've got um, a split stance for it. That's it. So, again, I'm going to you can change your split stance. Sorry? What is it? Is it? Oh yes, it is. I can hear it now. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Does that mean you're going to sing along? Oh, you might lose. Let's go. Right, there you go. So that motion there. Now, um, we talked about we we're so windows, but it could be in the car, couldn't it? Uh, wiping down the shower screen anything like that is these sorts of actions but also if you think about it, if you certainly think about that back action firstly putting your coat on you take your right to actually put your coat on so there's lots of things that you could associate it with change your lead leg for me and keep that movement going and again if you find that shoulders are a problem bring it to a lower level and nathan will just show us that bringing it down low lovely thank you nathan um, and if your shoulders start to play up or start to feel tight, bring them down a little bit low just to take the pressure off there. Keep that movement going for me and keep breathing. Also focus on your posture. So with our uh, harder option, as before, you'll notice onto the toes at the back. So foot is down flat at the front, toes are uh, lift uh, on the floor with the upright position as we rotate through. Right, that is your minute, folks. Okay now, so this is about the reach. Um, this is gonna challenge your balance slightly. So this is one of the ones I was talking about earlier. So um, you've got that stepping out diagonally. So when you step diagonally, you're increasing your base of support. So although you're challenging your balance by taking your arms out to work from, that's your easy option. Your medium has a weight added in there. Again, it's a power away with that. When we come to our harder option, exactly the same movement. Again, you'll notice there's a different in weight as far as the, the weight is concerned here, but the intensity is increased through the depth. Okay, off we go then. Wrong. We're stepping with our front foot, heel comes through to the toes, and then we power back through. The back of the heel is lifting off to various degrees, so you'll notice with Lou there's a little lift of the back heel. When we come to Ben, because it's a bit of a bigger movement, there's a lift. And when we come to Nathan, there's a real good lift of that back foot. So onto the toes. And again, this is where I talk about the depth, yes? Of the movement between Ben and between Nathan. So you can see how the intensity is increased in there. Placing away now again, any problems with the shoulders, you can take it down lower. So you could take it to sort of like chest height or uh, waist height. You don't have to take it up higher. You could take the arm movement out totally if you wanted to. You could keep that weight close into you or keep your arms close into you and focus on to the depth and movement of your feet. So you're getting your intensity through there. And that is your minute, folks. Time to do some sweeping. So we've got our easy option. And this one is about the push away, okay? So, a step and that push. In our medium option, we've got Ben. And Ben, with his weight, and then we have a bigger movement. 
is concerned. Still placing that heel down. Now, with this, I want you to focus into the... So, you ready to go? So, even though Nathan here has no weight, put some resistance in. So, really do imagine that you're sweeping something up, yeah? So, you're putting that resistance into the shoulder. So, here, we're moving through the legs, we're moving through the trunk, we're moving through the upper body. So, work into our strength is concerned, work into our core and our trunk as far as that rotation and work into our shoulders as far as that push. You've also got head movements in there, so you've got challenges to your balance and working through that neck, moving from side to side. You stand in one move all the time. So it's a bit like the, stuff, the sort of stuff we talk about on a Friday. Is we move it in more than one dimension. We don't hang in isolation. So week we don't step forward, then move the arm forward, then have a look at where it's going. It all happens at the same time. And it's time to practice. You've got a shot of the clock right there. Look, there's your minute. Um, it's a chance for your brain to practice these movements. Right, we're moving on to our sitting to standing. Um, this can be a really hard one to do. Now, I'm going to ask um, Lou just to show us this one. So if you just come into the third of the chair, Lou, for me. If that is, um, if you're finding it a struggle from sit to stand, we can do something called a jockey lift, which is where we just push off slightly and back down. So do you want to try a jockey lift for me there? There's your jockey lift, look. The other thing you can do, and I'm sorry to ask you to do this, Lou, but if you just sit down and just squeeze your dicks for me. So you can see a little lift. There's your other arm. been a long while since I've asked a lady to squeeze up a dick for me. But there we go. <laughs> there we are. We're ready. It's not, it's not an everyday thing you ask, is it? Excuse me, love. Could you just squeeze your buttocks? <laughs> when we take it to our medium option, then we've got a weight added in and it's closer to the body. And when we come to our harder option, then remember, this is the one where you don't actually sit down. But in all seriousness, I know I'm making a bit of a joke about it, but that's it to stand. There are versions, there are options you can accommodate to allow. Ready to go? Off we go. Powering through the heels at the front. Our actual movement, if we really analyse it, if we break it down, we've got a slight hinge from our hips come forward. We press down through the heels and we follow our nose to a standing position and then we lower down with control. No matter which level you do this at, it's exactly the same through your heels to come on up. The only difference when we get to our higher option is that we're not actually placing the bottom back down. So we're not actually sitting. We're just going. So if you imagine, did I leave the oven on before you sit down? So you, you go to sit down, you think, have I done that? And you get back to motion, yeah? So you're not actually placing uh, yourself down into that chair. But again, remember an option for you there is those little jockey lifts. And a jockey lift basically is just pushing yourself up out of the chair. If you have a chair you need to, you can use your hands to help push you up um, and just work on work so that you start to lose, use the hands less. As far as that's concerned, that's one that you can do throughout the day so you can shove a few extra of those in during the day. Yeah, mowing the lawn now. Uh, also, Ben is in our easy option with his step and his push away. Yeah, so step. Stepping onto the heel at the front, pushing the arms out about uh, waist high. Same movement as far as our medium option is concerned with Lou, but it's a bigger, bigger step. So the foot is coming onto the toes at the back, and then we come to Nathan. He's taking a real good lunge into this. So this must be a. Re this is this is mowing your lawn after winter, isn't it? When it's long, you have to really go for it to get it done. Whereas Ben's is, you know, height is somewhere, you just need to give it a quick little sprinkle and away we go. All right, you ready? Let's. So, again, remembering the movement here. Think about it. Think about how you're. Time. Think... Lifting those ribs from those hips, stepping forward, see heel at the back as far as Ben is concerned. And then when we come to our medium option and to our harder option, it's a full blown lift onto those toes at the back. So here it's a shorter motion as far as Lou is concerned, and it's a short motion, but still lifting onto those toes, whereas when we come to Nathan, it's a, a longer step to start off with and a deep 
into it. Um, and again, lifting onto those toes. With each of them, please have a look at the front foot. You'll probably notice it more from Ben, uh, uh, from Lou and Nathan, sorry, but there's a power up through that front heel to push yourself back up to the Say that Ben is because it's a smaller movement, you possibly don't notice that as much. There is your minute, that is your circuit for today. Okay, so things that you could do around the house. The great thing about this is that they are everyday tasks. So the things that you can do, well, that also means is you could get those extra, extra into your day. So if you have a stop and a think, you might get a few strange looks, but as you're doing the shopping, why not do a few little mowing the lawns or of a lunge so as you're pushing your trolley around the supermarket doing your shopping you're giving it a little push you're taking a lunge think about the movement when you get in and out of bed think about the movement when you get in the car and exist movement slightly so you get that hip rotation in there as well now cool down here for me so at least 10 taking a, a walk around a march on the spot getting your body temperature back down getting your blood um heart rate to where it was before we started. The body. You're going to do at least 10 minutes of this and you want to start a little bit more intense and bring, the, uh, um, bring it down. Just throw my uh, Bring that intensity down gradually so that you lower yourself down. Now we'll say goodbye to the team as they're coming past. So there's Ben for you. Um, there's Nathan and we'll start walking this way so we can catch Lou on the... Keep, um, keep moving for the whole 10 minutes for me. That was your circuit for a Tuesday morning. Let us know if you find it useful. Did you see how it linked in? Hey now, look. Lou's trying to catch me out. I'm walking around here and I'm thinking, where the hell's Lou gone? <laughs> there she is. You naughty girl, you. Just because I asked you to squeeze your buttocks. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can see how they relate today, life little monkey uh, you can see how they relate into everyday life uh, and you can see how potentially an extra few of those in so as I say when you, you think about the lawnmower when you're doing your shopping with your um, trolley you can put a few little spots for your lunges in there have a great week everybody we'll see you soon take care bye